Burn them down. To what? He never. Oh, there you go. Burn them down. Anywhere, Lord. Anywhere. So, can you use me? Anywhere. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me get it before it plays more songs. Oh, it's the last song. We're good. Good morning. Um, slept pretty good last night, I think, actually. Got confused sometimes, you know, when you're like, oh, I've been awake for a long time, and then you wake up. And you're like, oh man, that wasn't the day. But that's okay, I got a new day. Every day is a new day. Um, and every day is a renewal in just the joy of Christ. That's right, I'm going to talk more about Jesus today. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, John 16, 14 is what I was rolling around in. Um, basically saying, Christ talked about, now, uh, the thesis is this. God has ruled the world forever created the world uh, in, in goodness, um, but something about God relishes, relishes and loves us so much that he was like, I'm going to let you kind of not do what, you, well, kind of do what you want a little bit. Here, I'm going to guide you in how to be, live in a right relationship uh, with yourself and with others and with me. However, you can kind of pick and choose if you'd like and do it your way and see how that runs. And uh, we've been doing that since uh, for time immemorial. And uh, as you can tell, it's a hit and miss process. <laughs> um, and it's a lot of missing. Um, but he also, um, uh, it's, it's so funny from a human perspective, it's almost like he couldn't stop like trying to help. All right, do what you want. I should, I should tell them. Okay, just, just so you guys know, listen, this is, this is, and he would keep telling them the rules over and over again, and literally uh, sent them aid all the time, and then, for me, this is where my brain gets into story structure, he selects this paltry, beleaguered, hammered down, uh, just suffering little succotash of a, of a people group, uh, which was the Israelites, who were like slaves and wanderers and, and vagabonds. And and he picks a small, this tiny thing to grow. And he was like, I'm going to use these people to illustrate uh, not only my, my law, but my character. The character, the very righteous character of God. And now look at the world. Isn't this crazy? I mean, honestly, when you look at, uh, at the way the word of, the, of God has, has spread throughout the world, a lot of people have done nasty things to it. I'll get to that in a second. But the fact that now, let's say 70% of the earth, 60 to 70% of the earth, uh, 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 God has revealed himself to them uh, in this fashion through through uh, through these these very, very small people groups. Still, a very small, very beleaguered people group. They got they put, they put a freaking wall up. They're this walled-in little culture, you know? Now, granted, obviously, immigration, blah, 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 blah. But... That's, that's monumental from that one little seed, from that small seed of faithful people spread over the whole earth. The whole earth. Pretty amazing. Um, now, one of the things, God, so God's around. And then eventually, he's like, man, I love you guys this much. It's time for me to reveal the next portion of my plan now. This has begun to spread. The Roman Empire was there, which actually was historically, too, a key in, in spreading, uh, obviously, Christianity uh, around as a, as, a, as a system of behavior, uh, as a, a system of emulation, which is what Christianity should be, P.S. Uh, he shall 614. Did I even read it yet? What's wrong with me? So he's, the Holy Spirit <laughs> sends Christ, who is it. He is the key. He is the... He is the the, uh, Christ's uh, law is built in love uh, and in consecration to him not only just love but also love for ourselves love for, uh, love for us love for him love for everything really I know it sounds crazy because sometimes his Old Testament law you're like this sounds nuts well Christ came in fulfillment of that law in, in, in an act of love 
that again, in some way, it was easier, I think, for human beings to understand. In some ways, it was even crazier because it was even more in opposition to who we are, which is that living completely for others and then living completely in the truth of God, in communion with God, and then living for others so much that you would die that they might live forever. Dying for other people's salvation is... It, uh, that is a foreign, that is quite a it's a foreign concept in a way to a lot of us. Um, I know it is to me as much as I like to uh, be self-sacrificing, but just living my whole life that way. Mm, no, I often would save things like that for for special occasions or for moments of inspiration. But Christ came to teach us that this is who we are to be always, and this is the this is the tantamount point of the Christian life. Uh, I believe the Bible is extremely important to Christian life, and I also believe, believe it's important for those moments when you're like, what about all these terrible th pe things people have done in Christ's name? Uh, well, thank goodness we have the Bible. Really, we, are, we have a collection of, of people who were around him and wrote down what he said because they were like, this guy did insane miracles and rose from the dead. And uh, we, had to, we better write it down. There is uh, nothing Christ says that allows for um, genocides, that allows for uh, sojourns into foreign lands to reclaim these places. Christ came to tell us that this world is, uh, you can be a blessing to God in this world, but he came not as a conqueror of, of men, you know, in the, in the formal bloody sense, but in the internal, most true and powerful sense ever. You can beat the crap out of someone, that's kind of, you know, uh, I guess it's powerful in some way. But honestly, if you look in somebody's eyes and you tell them the truth, you tell them the truth and you love them, you follow Christ's example, that's Christ's example. Live for others, speak the truth, the truth, divine truth to others and love them. That's, that, you, that's how you conquer. That is how Christ came to conquer. And then Christ came to conquer death and sin through his own sacrifice, not through sending a bunch of troops out just to die. He came and he did it first. And then he said, I'm going to be leaving soon, so do as I do. And yes, a lot of people who came after him were, were yes, were martyred. And people have been martyred in his name and still actually to this day, uh, that's happening. But all the stuff, you know, people are like, people did all these terrible things. Man, this is this is who Jesus told us man was. That he was, uh, he was a corrupted thing. And that's why Christ came. That's why he came in love and in truth and person to person. And that's Christianity. Honestly, that is Christianity. Church is uh, important, and it's a it's a it's a healthy exercise, and it builds community and fellowship. All the uh, the rituals sometimes can be important. They can be physical uh, um, clicks, clicks or go tos, you know, to to to, to remind you uh, physically. Almost just like uh, an improv. If you grab an object, it activates part of you. You know, uh, in yoga, uh, trying to relax it's not even just necessarily that you're stretching your muscles but it's get it's getting your brain into a physical ritual that becomes a helpful shorthand for you to distance yourself from yourself um, but the truth of it is 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 Christ that's why the whole New Testament you know portion of, of the Bible that I read and and that which all these people now uh, are like oh my gosh wow this is changing my life uh, is it's all built up to fulfill Christ and then to help sort of discuss and explain Christ. That's the point. Jesus Christ is literally, he's the apex. He's the climax. His life uh, teaches us, and he literally told us what was true and how to live. And his death was such a, such a fantastic and glorious and brutal uh, sacrifice for us that we might always be able to look to that moment uh, that God does love us. You know what I mean? That that's what... It, because that's what he said. That's what Christ said. He said that he said who he was, and he said why he had come. And he didn't even like it all the time. He was like, "This is going to be brutal. Please pass this cup for me, Lord, if you can." But he came to die for us. And we and that's that was the thing I've been focusing on the past couple of days. But that's what we should never forget. That moment. Hey, why is why is the world like this? Why are people so cruel? Okay, well we can already figure that out. We know that. Wow, why do terrible things happen? God must really not care. No, he does care. But he also lets us, he's, he's given us a, a glorious and disturbing freedom. But if, with, our, with my mind on the cross, I will never grow weary. I will never grow faithless. Amen.